the blood moon of the longest lunar eclipse of the century, July 27, 2018. The longest lunar eclipse of the century happened yesterday, July 27, early July 28, depending on where you live. The longest lunar eclipse of the century, Friday to Saturday morning, depending where you live, American Space Agency NASA says the moon will move into the Earth's shadow on Friday night. For four hours, it will be partly in the Earth's shadow and the total eclipse will last one hour, 42 minutes, and 57 seconds. The eclipse will be visible to people in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East on July 27 between sunset and midnight, and those who live in Asia and Australia will be able to see the eclipse between midnight and sunrise on July 28. The eclipse will turn the light color of a moon to deep red, Scientists call this kind of a moon a blood moon. Andrew Fabian is with the University of Cambridge. He spoke with Reuters news agency calling it, it's called a blood moon because the light from the sun goes through the Earth's atmosphere on its way to the moon and the Earth's atmosphere turns it red in the same way that when we see the sun goes down, it goes red. Unlike a solar eclipse, people can look at a lunar eclipse directly with their own eyes. On the same day as the eclipse, the planet Mars will be at its brightest as it travels close to Earth, and I have seen it's a very pink dot. Unlike a solar eclipse, as we said, we can see it directly with our eyes. The eclipse will not be visible from North America, nor most of the Pacific. The next lunar eclipse of such length will happen in 21 23. I offer treats for sky watchers and listeners around the globe. On this night, in a tiny section of the Universal Orchestra, our Sun, our planet, our Moon and Mars fall into a rare alignment. Mars will be at opposition. Mars and the Sun will be directly on opposite sides of the sky from our point of view. The Moon will also be opposite the Sun that night. The Sun, Earth and Moon will be perfectly aligned. So viewers on Earth's night side will enjoy a total lunar eclipse along with a big bright Mars. The Moon and Mars will be about 5 degrees apart in the constellation Capricornus. In the days surrounding opposition, Mars and Earth are closer to one another than at any other time in their orbits, explains NASA planetary scientist Sarah Noble. Mars oppositions happen about every two years, but not all oppositions are the same. That's because planetary orbits are elliptical, and the distance between the Sun and Mars varies during Mars's orbit. During its 2003 opposition, Mars made its closest approach to Earth in 60,000 years, enthralling sky watchers worldwide. The 2018 opposition of Mars will be nearly as spectacular. The red planet will climb in the eastern sky at sunset, rising almost overhead at midnight, glowing burnt orange and earning its nickname. In 19th century astronomer Percival Lowell's words, Mars blazes forth against the dark background of space with splendor that outshines Sirius and rivals the giant Jupiter himself. Viewers in Europe, Australia, Africa and Asia where it will be nighttime will also experience Earth's shadow edging softly across the face of the full moon. During a lunar eclipse, Earth is between the moon and sun, preventing most of the sun's light from hitting the moon. A total lunar eclipse occurs only when the Sun, Earth, and Moon are precisely aligned in that order. As Earth's shadow begins to cover the lunar surface, the Moon fades into an eerie reddish hue, as red as the red planet. That's because sunlight is scattered as it travels through Earth's atmosphere, like at sunrise and sunset. Noble says, you can think of the reddish color as all of the sunrises and sunsets.